Hi, I'm Joanne from Owen Mumford, and I'd like to welcome you to our series of educational information on Owen Mumford medical devices and how to use them. Before you begin your finger pricking, you will need a box of lancets. This is the Unilet Exalite, a lancing device. This is the Outlet Plus, alcohol swab, and sharps container. In my hand is a lancet. It consists of a lancet needle for pricking and a lancet cap to maintain its sterility before use. Lancets usually come in a box of 100. Make sure your lancet is compatible with your lancing device. Unilet Exolite fits most capillary lancing devices. They come in different sizes depending on your needs. The bigger the gauge number printed on the box, the thinner the needle. And the smaller the gauge number, the thicker the needle. Generally, 28 gauge lancets, like this box here. It's good enough to get a good amount of blood from your finger. There are also other sizes, such as the 23 gauge, which is a thicker needle. It's for you if you have thicker skin and need a bigger puncture to get enough blood. Or 33 gauge, which is a thinner needle, is ideal for young children or adults with thin skin who only need a smaller puncture. What are the components of a lancing device? Let's familiarize yourself with your lancing device first. Regardless of the type of device you are using, all lancing devices should come with a depth adjuster, depth setting indicator, activation button, the priming slider, lancing device cap, and in the inside, the lancet holder. How to use your lancing device? Remove the lancing device cap by twisting or snapping it off at an angle. Now you can insert a new lancet into the lancet holder until the very end. This action may cock the device for firing. Hold the lancing device firmly in one hand and use your other hand to twist of the lancet cap to expose the needle. Place the lancing device cap back on the device with the depth setting indicator window aligned with the activation button, like this. You must be careful not to touch the exposed needle of the lancet when you put the cap back on. Before you prick your finger, you need to set how deep you want the needle to penetrate. Use the depth adjuster. The Outlet Plus has 9 depth settings. These numbers will tell you how deep your lancet is going to go into your finger. Level 1 is the shallowest depth, while level 9 is the deepest depth. Level 1 to 2 is for very thin skin or bruised skin. Level 3 to 4 is probably the best for average skin. And level 5 up to above are suitable if you have very colorless fingers. Make sure you pick the right depth setting or else you're not going to get a good prick. I'm setting number 3 for my skin. Lastly, Prime the lancing device by pulling back on the slider until you hear the activation button click. You are now ready to perform a finger prick. How to prick fingertips with a lancing device and lancet for checking blood glucose. To get started, you should wash your hands or clean your fingers with alcohol swab and allow it to air dry. This is to avoid contaminating your blood drop. Also, do not wipe your fingers dry. Make sure the lancing device is primed by pulling the slider. This Outlet Plus automatically primes when you put your lancet inside. To prick your finger, you want to hold the lancing device firmly against the side of your fingertip 
and just press the activation button. Then apply a gentle pressure near the puncture site if needed like this by massaging until a blood drop appears. Once there's enough blood, take your glucometer strip and absorb the drop with a strip then attach it to your glucometer to get your blood glucose reading. To release the used lancet, first remove the lancing device cap and then push the lancet release slider forward or downward. If the lancet doesn't detach, push the slider forward and carefully put the cap into the needle and then with your fingers pull the lancet away from the device. Finally, the lancet should be removed and disposed in a sharps container to prevent needle stick injuries. For alternate site testing, choose a penetration site on a soft fleshy area of your arm or other recommended site away from the bone and free of visible veins, moles, bones and tendons. Use the clear cap on the alternative site for testing. Always re remember to refer to your blood glucose monitoring system for instructions on how to obtain a blood glucose reading. Where should you puncture? The finger is the preferred site for adults and children over 6 months weighing more than 10 kilograms. The puncture should be done on the side of the ball of the finger and should be restricted to the middle and ring fingers. The thumb and index fingers, which can be calloused and sensitive, should be avoided. Puncture across the lines of the fingerprint, not parallel to them. A parallel puncture may cause the blood to travel along the channels formed by the lines of the fingerprint, preventing drop formation. Avoid the little finger because the tissue depth is small and there is a higher risk of causing bone injury. Puncture the skin with one quick motion to achieve a good flow of blood and to prevent the need to repeat the puncture. Lastly, remember to refer to your blood glucose monitoring system for instructions on how to obtain a blood glucose reading. That's all from me. If you have any questions about our products or about this video, feel free to leave a comment under the video section. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to see you again soon.